The previous tutorial illustrated how to create a featured articles menu item type. And if I scroll down here, you can see the three articles that we featured for this menu item. There are additional details published by default with each article, and I want to show you in this tutorial how to specify which details you'd like to appear. I'll also show you how to change the layout of this page so you can have different columns in a different format. First, let's return to the back end of the site and we'll go to our article manager. What we're going to do is explore our article options area by clicking on the options button in the upper right hand corner here. Now in the article options area you can adjust the global settings for any article that you feature in your Joomla instance. You can override these settings through individual menu items and that's something I'll show you in just a minute. But for now we're going to focus on the first tab in the article options area. These are the details that appear within your articles. Now by default several of them are set to show or hide. I want to show my title, I want to link my title, and I want to show my intro text. But I want to hide my category and I'll say no to the link category option as well. If I scroll down there are additional options. I want to hide show author, I want to hide the publish date, hide navigation, but I'll keep show read more set to show and show title with read more and we'll keep our read more limit alone. I'll show you how to use the read more button in tutorial 13 creating a blog. We're going to hide the show tags option and scroll down to hide more features. Now we'll hide show icons, print icons, email icon and hits. Finally we can scroll back up and save our changes. When we return to the front end of the site we can refresh the page and we'll see those details disappear. All of the unwanted details are now gone. However we still get the details that we'd like to show. For instance we have the title and the title is still linked. And if I click on the link the article opens up into a separate page. The next thing I want to show you how to do is change the layout of this featured articles menu item. By returning to the back end, we're going to go over to the blog and featured layouts tab here. Now what I'll do is set this to zero leading articles, three intro articles, three columns, and zero links. Let's go ahead and save our work. And if we return to the front end, we'll refresh the page and now we can see the content appears differently. Of course you'll want to go through and make sure that your formatting and layout is set to your specifications. Remember all of the article options that we just managed were done through the global article option setting but we can override that through each individual menu item. So let's save and close the article options area and let's go to our main menu. Let's open up that featured articles menu item that we created to show you how you can override that. Go to the options tab here and if you scroll down you'll see all of the same options but notice how they're all set to global. You're using the global setting. Let's change the show author to show here to illustrate how you can override that feature. We'll save our work, return to the front end and refresh the page and we'll see that the author now appears as a detail inside these articles on this menu item only. This won't appear on any other page. In the next tutorial we'll return to the module manager to show you how to create a menu module but in tutorial 13 creating a blog we'll return to the article options area to show you how to use that read more button.